We should see what's in here. I bet it's locked. I absolutely love hearing collaborators give each other flowers. So can you each name a time when you saw the other on set do something that made you say, I knew you were good, but I never realized you were capable of doing that? I feel like Margaret is like the most alive, like it, she's like a live wire. And watching her work is so inspirational because you're so not self-conscious and you're so present in your body and that's really inspirational to me Thanks, and Geraldine I have never seen get to play this type of like pulled back button up role and the arc that you take through the movie is so genius and so measured and free at the same time and that was really inspirational to me too for being I feel like I well I mean it's kind of it's all right there like she's playing this cop that like never in a million years did I imagine Beanie as this cop until I saw Beanie as the cop and then I realized there was no other cop, you know, <laughs> that she might be the only cop. It was just like so unexpected and then she really made this whole like life and world out of it, you know, like I, I could, I'd sign up to see that whole movie in a heartbeat. Mm. Read my mind. <laughs> right? Yeah. And then with uh, Geraldine, kind of just like literally every scene, I would say. Like, you know, my character kind of like flip flops all over the place and Geraldine just kind of like held down the fort and like grounded everything. She's just like solid and just the best. Just like a very awesome person. So just like any time I would look over and see her there in a scene, it was just like, yeah, she <laughs> That's my girl. That's my girl. Um, okay, so Beanie, I feel like our first scene with Beanie was in front of the she shed. And yeah, we've just never seen Beanie in a role like this. And watching her just like come straight out the gate and like body this character and be such a like badass. The dog and the gun and all of it. It was just like, wow, this is so cool that we get to watch Beanie shine like this. And little Margotini, I mean, just blew me away. And I think it's the same thing. Like we've never, we're all kind of surprising in these roles and I've never seen Margaret just let it rip. And <laughs> <laughs> I feel like if I have to pinpoint a scene, it's probably the scene in the hotel when you're having a go with <laughs> the dildos. And yeah, I was just, that is so brave one and of my hard favorite. to do. You, you, you're that scene is one of my favorites too. Geraldine's like the close, well, that whole portion of Geraldine. Geraldine in the hotel suite. <sighs> Could you ask for like a better romantic lead? You know what I mean? Like <laughs> like the hair and just like the light. And like <laughs> she's just like, like there and kind of just like ethereal and gorgeous and a princess, you know. And you're so. like on the bed like, yo! <laughs> it was just spectacular. So Eight fun plus to answers all around. Just reaffirm why I love that question so much. Mm. Individual ones now for each of you, Margaret. My first one is for you because I was reading that you were inspired by Tommy Lee Jones and Ann Richards for your accent here. Can you pinpoint maybe one or two things or techniques you picked up from them that people can now hear you using in the finished film? I mean, I grew up in the South, so like I grew up, like I should have more of a Southern accent than I really do, like if I'm talking to my family or if I have a couple drinks, whatever. So like that one's really familiar to me, but I, Jamie's meant to be from Texas. And so those were like two Texas references. And I kind of like wanted it to be like, also maybe a bit of a world of its own. Like the R's are a little harder in Tommy Lee Jones' accent and in Ann Richards. And like Ann Richards kind of has this like big, like I was listening to her keynote address a lot and she's obviously addressing a lot of people, but you know, it's just kind of like billowing out of her. Um, so yeah. I love it. There's so many things that I can only hear the way you say it in this movie now. <laughs> Geraldine, for you, I'm totally obsessed with these characters, so I need to know, did you come up with any backstory specifically for how the two of them met and what her first impression was? Of Jamie? Oh. Yes. Ooh. We're doing backstory on the spot. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, Let me just find my notebook. <laughs> my journal. Actually, yeah, I wrote a book about kind of our they're history. Up, yeah, up in history. They're, but they're in a museum. Lineage. Yeah, family tree. They're Her family away. tree, our family tree. Yeah, how we got there, where we went. 
I'm trying to think how we <laughs> how we met. I in think the we prologue. were thrust upon each other. It's my impression Probably that just we were community. friends. That like you know you know how sometimes some of your best friends you're kind of like how did this person end up but like you like you're like uh-huh. did I choose did we choose each other or did this <laughs> yeah. just happen? So, yeah. But sometimes those are my favorite friendships, right? The ones that you just kind of like right. And you're I, forced upon. Mike, she was with me. Right. And then we like <laughs> get close. You read my mind. That was exactly yeah. what I thought it probably <laughs> was. Beanie, now for you. The thing that I can't stop thinking about after seeing this movie is that I need you to headline your own action film. So if you got the opportunity to join the action film franchise of your choice, oh. what would you pick and why? That's so hard. <laughs> you know, the, the, the thing that I <laughs> recently <laughs> started doing is archery. Stop. Yeah. I'm <laughs> cool, yeah. kind of okay at it. I can see actually. that. And so I was like, what came to mind when I was doing the archery was like a Katniss Everdeen, Katniss Everdeen hey, moment. So I feel like Hunger Games would have to be the answer. Hunger Games okay. 4 right here. Uh, but I love doing it and I would it's love done. to do more. That franchise is thriving. You should and could. <laughs> I love so. it. All right, one off topic question, Geraldine. You'll pick up on where this is going in a heartbeat. I have Catherine Newton on the brain because Lisa Frankenstein is awesome. Absolutely. You two work together on Blockers. She's in a Marvel movie. Uh, You're gonna be in a Marvel movie. Did she give you any advice on joining the MCU? Ooh, no. Wait, did she? I saw her very briefly, because we're both on press tours, but I think she was just like, you'll have so much fun. She's so sweet. I love Catherine. I mean, yeah, she was just like, you're gonna, and, and get and get ready for some, DMs, I think is what she said. Um, Cause it's just like, it's such a visible thing. And I think, you know, I feel like her life kind of changed a bit after she did that, but just, she was like, you're gonna have a ball. 